well 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 this is probably gonna be a pretty short video about a cool game i played recently and that is the beta test for sword art online fractured daydream even though i'm not a sword art online fan i hated the first season to the point of not even continuing it and i didn't watch the second season and from on i haven't watched any of the animes other than one which we'll get to in a moment anyway so i requested access and yeah surprise it immediately accepted me i got in and the first mistake in the game happened and probably the worst part in the game forcing me to play kirito for the tutorial yes kirito is my least favorite okay it's not the least favorite. Kirito is the worst character in Sword Art Online. I hate him the most. The worst part of the game aside, the game is actually really damn good. So you're wondering, what character did I play then if I hate Sword Art Online? I played the one character I did not hate and I actually liked. Let me introduce to you whatever the fuck this girl is. So yes, I did watch Gun Gale Online, not to be mistaken by Gal Gun 2, even though that game is a masterpiece. This girl is one, a lolly. Yes, that's already a point. Two, has soldier clothes. Bro, she's a soldier and I also added these goggles on her. She looks so dank. Three, and most importantly, she uses fucking grenade launchers as her main weapons. Bro, it is so much fun. Just seeing all your party members trying to hit the boss from point blank range and getting blasted by damage while you're just way behind them spamming the fucking grenades it's so damn funny and yeah the normal missions are it, it's good it's good but i think the main really cool thing about this game is the raid and the raid is <laughs> fucking fantastic it's a five groups of four in total there are 20 players and yeah, you basically beat the shit out of the boss. I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I literally played one tutorial, one mission, and immediately went into the raid. Even though it warned me that it's supposed to be high level. Uh, I did die twice. Yes, I did die twice. Just because I didn't know uh, the freaking timings of when you're supposed to dodge so you don't get hit by the giant the giant boss with a giant hitbox but yeah it doesn't matter because you'll get revived very quickly there are literally 20 players overall it's pretty damn cool and there's one system that i didn't see anywhere in the game other than the tutorial which is you stand on the circles like the yellow and blue circles to stop the boss from giving you a failure and yeah it taught me that system but it never really let me use it it didn't give me an opportunity to use it and yeah all of that doesn't really matter because the game itself is really damn cool it's really fun i didn't know what the fuck i was doing and i like that lowly soldier grenade launcher is best character in the game nothing can compare and yep uh, i i'm actually looking forward for the full release and yep that's about it get the fuck up